A good understanding of costs is a foundation of distribution business sustainability. However, few municipalities have developed cost of supply studies to determine the true cost of supplying electricity. A sector collaboration has produced a simplified cost of supply tool to assist more municipalities in conducting cost of supply studies. In this video, we provide you with an overview of how to use this simplified cost of supply tool. It is an Excel-based spreadsheet that follows the NERSA cost of supply framework. So the simplified uh, cost of supply tool follows the NERSA framework and it can be used by licenses to capture their data as part of conducting their cost of supply study. NERSA's cost of supply framework consists of five key steps. Revenue requirement, cost functionalization, cost classification, cost allocation, and rate design. But what is the revenue requirement? The revenue requirement is the total cost of running your electricity business for the next year. It shows the total amount of revenue that should be recovered by tariffs. Oh. Can I get that information from my D-forms and ESCOM bills? Yes, that's exactly it. And the next step is to split this revenue requirement into generation, transmission and distribution. Oh, and that's cost functionalization. Yep. So municipalities would mainly focus on distribution. Simple, right? But the next step is a little bit more complicated. The costs are then grouped into their cost drivers. The first cost driver is energy in kilowatt hours. Okay, and an example of this is my ESCOM energy purchase costs. That's it. The more kilowatt hours consumed on your network, the more ESCOM energy purchase costs you will incur. And the second cost driver is maximum demand in KVA. So, would this be my network capital costs? Yes. The higher the maximum demand on your network, the more costly your network infrastructure will be. And the third cost driver is customers. The number and type of customers. Alright. So, would this be things like my cost of billing and metering? You got it. The more customers on your network, the higher the costs of billing and metering for all those customers. And that's cost classification done. In the fourth step, these cost groups are allocated to your different customers reflecting the cost that they cause. The energy related costs are allocated according to each group's share of total energy consumption. The demand-related costs are allocated using each group's contribution to the network's peak demand. The customer-related costs are allocated using a weighting. And the weighting is based on how much more expensive large customers are to service relative to small customers. The cost allocation step provides you with the cost of supplying each customer group in RAND per kilowatt hour, RAND per KVA, and RAND per customer. And that's it. That's the cost of supplying each customer group. And this is the foundation of your rate design, which is the final step of the process. Rate design determines how to collect the allocated RANDs from each customer class. This is where you develop electricity tariffs for submission to NOSA. Tariff design is covered in a separate, detailed video. Okay, that all makes sense. And how do I use the simplified cost of supply tool to do all this? Well, let's take a look. Here is an overview of how the tool works. We start with data inputs, then move into the cost of supply calculations, and finally we'll move into tariff setting. Let's start with the data inputs. The first standard data input is the DFORM financial statement. This sheet mirrors the D1 income statement tab in your D forms. So just cut and paste your cost data in here. The second standard data input is your ESCOM bill. 
This table should sum your ESCOM bills for all your intake points for the previous financial year. The tool then sums your D form and your ESCOM bill to arrive at your revenue requirement. Next is to functionalize each D form cost item as generation, transmission or distribution. Then they are classified as fixed or variable and according to their cost driver, energy, demand or customer. The cost groups are then allocated using the advanced data inputs, including load profiles and weighted customer numbers. But proxy data is provided in the tool and this can be improved if you have better data available. Now you will arrive at your cost of supplying each customer group with electricity. And this is a key input into your tariff design, which is the final step of the cost of supply process. And that's it, you're done. Now you need to design your tariffs based on these costs and explain all your assumptions in a cost of supply report for submission to the regulator. Some municipalities prefer to embark on this process together with a consultant. As Rassenberg Municipality, in the position that we find ourselves in with uh, limited resources, it was good for us to have the experience of a consultant together with the cost of supply tool that assisted us in being able to put together this uh, cost of supply. And we will recommend this to any municipality that's in a position similar to ours that they could also follow the same route that we followed in, de in developing their own cost of supply. I'm inspired! So where can I download this tool? The tool is freely available to municipalities and can be downloaded at sseg.org.za forward slash cos.